hey guys welcome back to my channel and welcome if you're new make sure to hit the like and subscribe button so i know i have not reviewed a your nail app sub box for a while now and that's only because i usually get poly gels but in this box i got this glitter the powder it is their macart all in one so it acts as an acrylic powder and also as a dip powder so i wanted to use this dip powder on my channel because it is so pretty and so perfect for the springtime and also the summertime too so this is the main reason why i wanted to do a nail set on this channel because as i said before i usually get poly gels and i don't do any poly gels on this channel However, if you'd like to see some polygel nail designs, you can go to this girl named Polygel Sherelle. She does really good nail designs. I think you guys would like her. I will link to her videos in the cards. And the funny thing is, she does have the same name like I do. And I think all Sherelles do great nail designs. I'm probably just being biased, but yeah. <laughs> and yes, I would link to her youtube channel in the cards so that y'all can check out her videos she is low-key similar to my type of nails but i don't know i don't know you guys will be the judge let me know what you think about her and you can also let her know that i sent you to her channel you know so yeah i am just going to be showing you guys all of the different items that i got so as y'all see here i got these ballerina shaped nail tips and uh, I low key want to know why McCart doesn't give out their square nail tips. I have grown to love square nail tips and I went searching on their website a while ago and I noticed that they have full covered medium length square nail tips. So why is it that all of the time they would give you their stiletto nails, their full cover stiletto nails or their full covered ballerina nails they never give us the full covered square short nails and i really need that one in my life because i love full covered square nails right now So I'm just going to be showing you guys the swatches that I did and as you can see the grey poly gel is really nice. I really liked using the grey poly gel and this orange dip powder is so gorgeous. I love the glitter. So for this nail design I'm using my medium length full covered square nails that I got from Amazon. So I'm just going to be finding all of my sizes and making sure that they fit from side wall to side wall. Then I'm going to be using my Pro Dip Dip Powder Base. So I'm going to be using this to stick on my nail tips. As I said in a few videos back, I think it was two videos back, I was going to start using glue in order to adhere my full cover nail tips instead of using the Gel X method. However, this is an impromptu video because this video was not planned. I had another video that I wanted to show. So when I show that video, I will be using the Gel X method. And this video, I just did it about two, three days ago and I wanted to upload it before April ends so that's why you may be wondering why I might go back to using the gel x method it's not that I went back it's the fact that I had to bump this video to be first before the next video so one of the issues that I have with using gel is that you have to wait very long for it to dry but besides that I like it and I did already apply my peel off base coat off camera and usually i would rub the surface of the peel off base coat in order to make it more matte it was too shiny i didn't do that on the pinky nail but i did it for the rest of the nails and the reason for that is because i want the glue to adhere to my nail and sometimes the shininess might hinder that from happening so in i think two more videos i will be fully using glue to adhere my nails and i would go more in depth in that i think so yes i'm just going to be applying all of the nail tips and i did most of them off camera i just wanted to show you guys two of them and i made sure to wait a while so that it can dry 
next i am going to be filing the free edge and the sides of all of the nails just to get that crisp shape And then I'm going to be using my cuticle bit to go around the cuticle area just to get that cuticle area a bit thin so that it looks natural. And then I'm going in with my buffing block to buff the surface of all of the nails to remove the shine. So firstly, I'm going to be using my Macart acrylic powder, which is called Pinky Promise. I'm going to be using this as the powder. And as usual, I'm using my Pro Dip dip powder base. And also, I'm going to be using my French nail cutter because I'm going to be doing some French nails. So as usual, I'm just measuring to make sure that I'm using the right size on the smile line cutter because the beginning nail is so small, I'm going to be using number one. So starting with my dip powder base, I just place one line down the center of the pinky nail, not to the tip of the nail, but just to where I want my uh, French nail to end and then I would pour the, the powder on the nail dust off the excess and then I would be using my French nail cutter just to shape the French smile line a bit you wouldn't really see much yet but you are constantly molding it into the french nail when you do that so on to the second layer i am doing just a little more of the dip powder base at the sides of the nails and stuff like that but only up to the area that i wanted to stop and then i would pour the dip powder and tap off the excess then brush off the excess and form it again with my french smile line cutter so you know i like to look at it from the sides and stuff like that just to make sure that everything looks decent then i'm going in with my third layer right here and making sure that i don't apply any of the dip powder base to my cuticle area i'm making sure that it is neat and everything looks really good And then I would pour the dip powder on the nail. So I decided to use the pointy side of my cuticle pusher just to push the dip powder to where I want it to be just to get that smile line and then I'm going to be doing a few more layers so I did this one in real time so that y'all can see everything that I am doing and 
it's really simple to do you just have to make sure not to apply too much the powder base to the nail else the nail wouldn't dry as fast as uh, you would want it to the reason why my nails dry a little faster is because i apply a thin layer of the dip powder base and then i would pour the dip powder so the dip powder would absorb the glue very fast so that when i dust off the excess no dust or anything is getting attached to my brush or my brush isn't getting attached to my nail because it's kind of dry not fully dry but kind of dry and when I use my French nail cutter it's not very sticky so yeah that's another reason why my nails turn out like that you have to be very careful and very intentional in how you do things and make sure that the dip powder base is applied neatly make sure it's not around the critical area or flooding the critical area or anything like that because these things tends to happen it still happens to me sometimes especially when i am not focusing on what i am doing so i did about five or six layers of this i'm not sure i didn't really count it when i was watching the video but that's okay as you can see from the side view how high it is I really like it that high so that I can file around it and it's easy to file and now I'm applying my activator to the pinky nail and then I would wait for it to harden so that I can file to get that crisp smile line Now moving on to the index nail, I am doing the same thing. So I'm just going to let this part play out and I'll be back shortly. So I'm not sure if I showed myself applying all of the layers. I don't think I did. But anyway, this is how it looks from the side. And now I'm just applying my activator to harden the nail. So now we are going to be using this orange glitter dip powder and it's so pretty so i'm going to be applying the dip powder base to my middle nail i'm going to be doing the whole nail in this beautiful glitter and then i would dip my finger into the orange glitter tap off the excess and then brush off the excess now i'm going to be doing a second layer so the first layer of this is really opaque i really like how it looks on the first layer but i never just do one layer of anything i like to do two layers so i am going to be doing the second layer and the opacity kind of stayed the same in my opinion there wasn't much of a different it looked a lot better i'm not gonna lie 
but there wasn't a huge difference i just got a lot more glitter so it was a little more glittery but the opacity was good on the first layer and it was even better on the second layer but either one was really good then i'm going to be doing the same thing on the thumbnail So moving on, I'm going to be encapsulating the glitter nails and I'm using my McCart Clear Dip Powder. So I apply a layer of my dip powder base to the middle nail. And then I would pour the Clear Dip Powder. And I'm going to be doing the same thing on the thumbnail. And I did two layers on each nail but I will only be showing myself doing this one layer on each nail Then I apply activator to the glitter nails and wait for them to harden. Now I'm going to be using sugar white which is also from Macart. I'm going to be using that on the ring nail. So I apply a layer of my dip powder base to the ring nail and then I would dip my finger into the sugar white dip powder. I did two layers of this. Now I'm going to be attempting a marble nail so I just placed a few scoops of the sugar white dip powder in a dipping tray. Then I'm using this other Macart dip powder called Shoe Off. It is a light orange I think or a kind of nude color. I'm not sure what color that is but I just wanted to use it. So I just placed some in my dip tray as well and this one didn't really make any sense because you could hardly see it but i still wanted to use it and now i'm using this neon orange the powder it's from double dip i just wanted a little bit of that and then i just swirl it so that i can get that marble effect i also lowered the lighting so that you all can see the colors better now i'm just applying my dip powder base to the ring nail And then I laid my finger into the marble mixture. And uh, this looked horrible. I was questioning myself after doing this because how could I even think this was going to look good? But anyway, I'm going to be applying some more scoops of the two the powders to the mixture because I wanted to give it a second try. Big mistake. So I just placed it in certain areas. I didn't want it on the whole nail because, you know, the marble was looking okay-ish on half of the nail and then not okay-ish on the rest of the nail. So I just placed it on the part that was looking not okay-ish. And this is how it looked. So 
so by now most of the nails would have hardened so i'm just going to test that then i'm going to be filing the pinky nail and the index nail so that i can get a crisp smile line Then I'm just using some of my alcohol to remove the dust. Now I'm going to be using the orange glitter on the tip area of the pinky nail and the index nail. So I apply a layer of my dip powder base to the tip area of the pinky nail and then I dipped it into this gorgeous orange glitter the powder i'm going to be doing about three or four layers of this maybe just two i'm not sure but and i'm still encapsulating the tips of those nails by the way so you could do two or three layers of the orange glitter the powder and then do two layers of the clear the powder to encapsulate that area So I guess I only did two layers on the pinky nail. Now moving on to the index nail, I'm going to be doing the same thing. Oh, I almost forgot to mention, I removed the design that I did on the ring nail because it was really horrible. And I applied another full cover nail tip off camera. So I'm going to be doing something a little differently on the ring nail. I'll get to that later on in the video. Now on the ring nail, I'm going to be using the pink dip powder that I used on the nail bed area of the pinky nail and the index nail. So I apply a layer of dip powder base to the ring nail and then I dip my finger into the pink dip powder. I am going to be doing two layers of this. Now 
now again i'm basically going to be doing the same marble that i did i don't know why i wanted to do marble this time but i needed to do it for some reason because i thought i would have changed my mind after doing that horrible nail but i guess i wanted to do marble nails so yes i'm doing the same thing again But this time I'm going to be doing the marble a little slanted on the ring nail. It's not going to be on the whole ring nail, just a little bit of the ring nail. So I just applied the dip powder base to certain areas on the ring nail and then I laid my finger into the marble mixture. And this is how it looked. I was very disappointed in this one. I was like, oh my gosh, well, a second time you did shit? Like, what, what, what's wrong with you? <laughs> but then... I decided to apply some glitter because everything looks good with glitter and it really brought this nail to a different level. It looked so good. I was really proud of myself after this. So I'm just using my dip powder base just to get the base on the outline of the marble nail and then I would dip my finger into the glitter dip powder. I had to do it by sections because as you know dip powder base dries very fast so i did it by sections and i was being very careful because i didn't want this outline to be too thick so as you can see i'm using kind of the side of the the powder base brush so that it wouldn't come out too thick and then i dip my finger into the glitter the powder and this turned out so good let me know what you guys think about it now i'm going to be encapsulating the rest of the nails so i start with the pinky nail i'm just going to be encapsulating the tip area of the pinky nail and i'm doing about two or three layers as you can see from the side view i just showed there wasn't much glitter at the tip area but the nail bed area was a lot higher than the tip area so i could go as high as i want on the tip area so i could apply a lot more layers of clear the powder to encapsulate this tip area of the nail but i'm not going to do that i think i only apply two or three layers of the clear the powder to encapsulate that area the nail bed area was way thicker so i can file down and the nail would come out looking a lot better and really thin and really nice looking i hope i'm making sense with what i'm saying and i did apply two layers of clear the powder to the ring nail I applied activator, waited for it to harden, and filed the nails off camera. Now 
so this is how all of the nails are looking and i'm going to be applying some butterfly stickers to the nails so i was just showing you guys all of the other stickers that i got i think i got these butterfly stickers from double dip i'm not too sure but yes i'm going to be using some pink butterfly stickers because i am going to be applying my pink rhinestones that i got in this sub box so i wanted that to match although i didn't really talk about everything that i got in this sub box because everything doesn't apply to this channel the only thing that applied was the dip powder so that's why i wanted to use the dip powder on this channel but everything else didn't really apply that's why i didn't go in depth on that but if you'd like to see someone else go in depth on it you can go to polygel shirelle's youtube channel she did an in-depth video on all of the items that was in this sub box she would be able to help you out but i am doing dip powder nails so that's why i wanted to focus more on the dip powder everything else in this sub box was really nice but it's really for people who like doing poly gel nails this sub box i'm talking about is really for people who like doing poly gel nails it didn't have a lot of dip powder or acrylic stuff to use and as i said in my other videos i'm going to stop using or try to not use too much gel products on this channel so i'll only be using gel top coat if i'm top coating the nails or gel polishes i'm not going to be doing much of the gel x method to apply my nail tips anymore so keep that in mind so if i have another sub box with acrylic powders and i like the acrylic powders in the sub box i will definitely use it on this channel because last month i did get an acrylic powder in my sub box but it was horrible i didn't like that acrylic powder at all so i couldn't use that you know so yes this acrylic powder was amazing so i had to use it on this channel and also if you'd like to sign up to get the monthly sub boxes from the your nail lab mccart i definitely would recommend it all you have to do is fill out a quiz in order for them to know what you would like if it's acrylic powders or if it's poly gels however a lot of individuals have told me that they did fill out the quiz and mccart still sends them items that they don't really want to use so like if they filled out that they liked acrylic powders mccart still sends them poly gels so that's kind of weird and i wouldn't like that to happen to me so if you all realize that it happened once you all need to cancel that sub box or talk to mccart about it because that's really crazy but anyway if you'd like to sign up i will have a link in the description below and i think it's really worth it because you get items that are worth 60 to 100 dollars and you only get it for 35 dollars because the sub box is only 35 dollars so it's worth it and although you may not like all of the items in the sub box you get things that you wouldn't really go for because the gray poly gel that it has in this sub box i didn't like it at first but uh, i used it and i really like it and to be very honest i would not purchase a gray poly gel if i had to so it was really good that i got it in this sub box but that's just an example you know i'm just talking like that so i know i was talking a lot but i'm sure you all understood what i was doing i did use gel top coat to top coat these nails because i really love how gel top coat looks the shine is amazing with gel top coat so that's why i like using it and i cured the nails for 30 seconds and now i'm just applying my critical oil to rehydrate my skin and nails okay so that's it guys thanks for watching let me know what you guys think about my nail design and everything else thanks for watching don't forget to like comment and subscribe and i'll see you in my next one bye guys